Water comes in many flavors to the discerning palate. Monster. Restricted section Lisa mentioned? Hmm, doesn't quite feel like it though. You don't think this place is hiding some terrible secret, do you? Like those rooms you always hear about in scary stories? You know, the ones that are usually totally off limits? That's true. We just kind of waltzed in here. And it didn't seem like the lock had been broken or anything. Wait, hang on a minute. This isn't the door we came in through. Are we even in the library anymore? You think? Wow. Hmm. Too bad Lisa's not working today, otherwise we could ask her. Well, we're here anyhow, and this place doesn't look too dangerous. Why don't we just take a look around? New places are meant for exploring, after all. You gotta try all kinds of new things to become a good and experienced guide. You dare enter this fortress of doom without invitation? Prepare to be eaten alive! We should probably just leave it here for now. This place is huge. <laughs>
Ayan. Oh no! Sorry! Guests, hello! I've been waiting here for the longest time and nobody came. I was only planning to rest my eyes for a bit, but the sofa was so comfy... Ah, a tiki talk! Sure can! Talking is one of the things I can do! Alright, so... Greetings, my dear guests! My name is... Uh... Wait... What's my name? Uh, not sure we can help you with that one, buddy! Huh? Really? We're just messing with you. <laughs> anyway, Paimon's name is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Okay, great, that went well. At least this mysterious room doesn't rob everyone of the- I must apologize. I must have slept for so long that I can't remember what's real and what's a dream anymore. Okay, concentrate. Uh, Alright, so, if I'm not mistaken, the current me is a concierge in charge of attending to any guests that find themselves here. Ah, yes! 
You may call me. Okay, but, um, if all you can remember are your dreams, what makes you think any of them are real experiences? They're just products of your imagination, right? You mean, if it comes from my imagination, it can't be real life? Oh. Well, it sounds like you know more about that kind of thing than I do. I can't tell the difference at all. I remember a time when a horde curse was put on me. My heart was cased in unmelting ice, and I had to spend my days in agonizing solitude surrounded by nothing but boundless tundra. I also remember playing with White Fang in the misty forest. We chased golden butterflies, waded through rushing streams, and shattered the very moon beneath our feet. And I'll never forget marching in that celebratory procession with the other troops, being showered in confetti as I excitedly waited for Her Majesty the Queen to bestow her honor upon me. Ah, <sighs> it was glorious. To me, all these events are indistinguishable from real experiences. Take my latest dream, for instance. I remember being in a garden of forking paths, and Madame Mage said to me, From now on, you are a concierge. Be sure to treat them, I found myself here. And like I said, I waited and waited and waited. And now, finally, two guests have arrived. At last, I can fulfill my duty. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? Is she really just a figure from your dream? Seems like- Well, Madam Mage is- Madam- She and her friends- uh, Oh, yes, and they're all mages too. Uh, each one of them is a master of their own type of magic. Conjuring, illusions, and so on. One of them uses a quill pen to cast her spells. She has a very mysterious ink bottle that contains fantasy truth. I had a little taste when she wasn't looking, and oh my goodness was it bitter. Blech. But the other mages all love her magic. They use their powers of creation to transform her fantasy truth into true fantasy. How do they do that? I haven't the slightest idea. I'm just a toy with stuffing for brains. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? Yes, I saw! You were magnificent! I was completely enraptured by your performance! What do you mean, performance? Well, Madame Mage says that every page of a storybook is a segment of the present. I'm sure only the most distinguished of guests are able to take the stage as the story's protagonist and put on a show as spectacular as yours. What a thrilling battle! Yes, that's what every story needs to spice things up. Naturally, those are the kinds of stories I love reading the most. I wonder what would make a good title for a book about your magnificent performance. Should we call it a saga? An epic? A tale of conquest? A chronicle of combat? Ah, <sighs> choices, choices. In any case, I do hope you will be so kind as to indulge us with more of your fine performances. In fact, scratch that. I'm afraid I shall have to insist. The story of the present is waiting to be written, and you, dear guests, are the ones to fill its pages. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? Yeah, what is this place? We came in- Ah, well, congratulations on your successful entry, dear guests. This is a special room. Seeing as you two have this privilege, you can invite your friends to enter- On that note, I'd better tidy up this place as quickly as possible. Oh, and I should prepare some tea and snacks, too. You don't mind if they're on the sweeter side, do you? Of course not! Wait, before we get ahead of ourselves, mind telling us where we are exactly? Are we even still in Mondstadt? Hmm... That is a difficult question. Madame Mage created this room using magic, and I don't know magic. Still, you have my guarantee as concierge that this is a safe and comfortable place. I sincerely hope you enjoy your time here. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? This place is getting more confusing by the second, but Wolfie seems alright, so we should be fine, right? Besides, our goal is to set foot in every corner of Tevat, and the courage to boldly go where others dare not to tread is what will take us there. 
Wow, what a wonderful line! Spoken like a true adventurer! You bet! We're the real de- Is that so? Well then, I'd better make sure I do my duty as concierge of this place. I hope this can come back here any time if you get tired. I'll be sure to take good care of you. For a little shock. Huh? <laughs> Don't be such a brute. Boba, get them! Burn! Me? 
pay for that. For the test. Bravo! Bravo! Another spellbinding performance! Are you interested in learning any new thespian tricks? By which I mean dashing and elegant poses. In fact, what would you say to a friendly exchange? I'll teach you some thespian tricks in return for toy medals from the treasure chests. Friendship is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Ah, just the word itself gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling in my heart and my stomach. Oh, for the love of... Please don't tell Paimon you're thinking about emergency food again. We're talking about friendship here, okay? Paimon will never understand why that's where your head goes. Anyway, are you sure you're okay with just toy medals? What can they be worth if they're just toys? As long as you believe, even toy medals can be more valuable than gold. That is the magic of imagination. Madam Mage told me that. I, the thespian tricks, I actually got those from a wish I made to Madame Mage. So long as she thinks it's a fair trade, I think it should be fine. Hmm, sounds kinda ominous. Don't a lot of scary stories start out that way? You make a reckless wish to a wicked witch, but you end up regretting it when she forces you to pay an impossible price in return? I believe you're misunderstanding the situation, dear guest. There is absolutely nothing to fear. To start with, mages are quite different from wicked witches. And besides, I already told you what the price is. It's the toy medals. There's no catch. And you're sure about that? Yes, completely. In any case, I was the one who made the wish. So if so, I enjoy watching your performances, so it's well worth it as far as I'm concerned. Hmm, I wonder how many blank pages are left in this book. Ah, but not to worry. Even if we run out of space, new blank pages will be added very... <sighs> I do look forward to the day when all empty pages are filled with stories.
be gentle. Come a little closer. Don't get too close. Here's Becca. Try not to enjoy this. Fire it up. Retribution. Inazuma shines eternal! Supporting fire! Check this out! Burn! Let's fuck things up a little. Time for retribution! Here's backup! Don't get too close! Now you shall perish! Illusion shut! It's not often that I have the chance to take a rest before the battle is truly over. I keep asking myself, can I really afford to take a rest yet? And if there are still monsters that have not yet been vanquished, the answer is no. I cannot stop now. You'd like to join me in a moment of meditation? Oh, all right. Close your eyes. Now, join me in turning your gaze inward. To the deepest part of your sometimes a throwaway comment in a conversation outside of the battle can be the decisive factor in who wins and who loses so even in the downtime between battles i intend to stay alert and ready Leave the intelligence. Thank <laughs> you. 